This is a short overview of the AccuBook guest diary. It's been created specifically for small independent hotels and guest houses. So it's been created by AccuBook, a company based in Donegal and Ireland. The entire suite of products uh, has been developed over years by AccuBook. AccuBook started in business in 2002, initially as a designer of website of websites for hotels. Uh, and then shortly after that, a, a new product was a booking engine, which, believe it or not, back in 2003, the ability to book a room online was, was pretty advanced. Uh, we all take it for granted nowadays. Uh, in around about 2007, we developed the channel manager. So that gave us the hotel website, booking engine and channel manager. The obvious bit that was missing really was was the the PMS or the diary, as we call it because uh, we were able to control the rates and availability with the channel manager. But once the bookings came in from booking.com or Expedia or the website, they had to be either written into a book in the old days or hand typed into the PMS or Excel sheet that the hotel was using. So uh, we now have the entire uh, system available in the cloud, which means it's available online via the internet. So wherever you are in the world, if you've got an interconnect connection, you can dial up onto the system. Even if you're out shopping in Lidl, you can call up via the app or via the website on your mobile phone, uh, the diary system, and you can start to adjust availability, uh, check reservations, etc. So it's an all-in-one system. It's all been developed for ourselves. We don't interface to any other PMSs. Uh, we... Uh, have the philosophy that uh, interfaces between two systems, for example, between a channel manager and a PMS, are problematic by their very nature. So this system is all in one web builder, booking engine, channel manager and diary. What you're looking at here is the main screen, the diary screen where uh, our hotel customers spend, spend most of their time. The configuration of the screen can be varied from one property to the to the next. So you can have an expanded screen, which gives you more information, for example, shows booking source, booking names, quantity of people, etc. Or if you have quite a few um, rooms in your system, you might want to have restricted information displayed on the screen. When you hover over the reservation, you get the rest of the details anyway. In addition to that, you can actually control the... The, the status is the color of the statuses of the booking. So if the booking is confirmed or canceled, checked in, checked out, unallocated, etc., you can control the colors uh, that you want to utilize for these different statuses on the diary screen itself. So to take a step backwards for the moment, there's two major advantages with a fully connected system. Uh, the first advantage is as the reservations come in, from the different channels, booking.com, Expedia, the website, etc., whatever you're working with, they drop straight into the system automatically and appear on the screen in front of you. So you don't have to sit and wait for an email or a fax and um, start loading that into a, a book or into your PMS. It drops straight into the system, which saves an awful lot of time. The second thing in, is, which is very important, is that because we know how many rooms you've got and because we know how many reservations you've got, we are automatically managing the allocation to the OTAs, booking.com, etc. So you no longer have to go in and say, I have three doubles on Friday or six twins on Saturday. That is done automatically. It doesn't mean that you lose control completely because you, for example, uh, you can start to prioritize your channels by closing all the online sales or just close some of the channels. Uh, typically, our customers might use this at this particular channels that they want to close out because the commission is very expensive on certain dates. So you do have control over the channels by using the channel prioritization. But basically, the allocation is managed by the system. And though we didn't intend this when we actually set out to develop the system, what we have seen is that it is actually helping with the sales of the properties that are using the system. Uh, initially, once we got this feedback, we couldn't quite understand why, but we now believe that human nature is such that if a channel manager is being used manually, if you've got reservation staff or if you yourself are going into a channel manager and managing the availability, automatically you will tend to be cautious, which means you won't be giving out uh, 
Uh, you'll be closing out if you're going home on a Friday night. You'll close out your availability for Saturday night if you've only got a couple of rooms left because of overbookings, etc. In the same way, if there's a cancellation over the weekend, it could well be Monday before you receive that cancellation and go back into the system and give back that inventory. In this system, it's all, to do, all done automatically. So if there is a, a cancellation, for example, from Expedia, the reservation is taken out of the system, you are notified, uh, but it's taken out of the system and that room's given back out to the channel within a matter of seconds. So all that is happening automatically. So to make a long story short, what is happening here is the total inventory of your property has been made available to the OTAs, live inventory. So uh, for that reason, we believe a system like this or our system, the AccuBook Guest Diary, is actually leading to increased sales. Once the reservations are in the system, you can actually move them around if you wish, just simply by clicking and dragging them. So click and drag them into another room like that. You can actually extend the stay if you wish. Uh, you can carry out any adjustments you want to the reservations just by clicking and dragging quickly and simply. Uh, next an important thing for uh, properties is an easy management of offline reservations. So somebody walks into your property and uh, requests a room. So to add a reservation, a manual reservation, an offline reservation, you simply go right click, add a reservation, enter. In fact, what we'll do in this particular case is we'll use the, the simple entry. We'll just enter uh, an, uh, a test name. We'll call him Andy Jones. And he's coming on the 12th to the 13th. These two adults. I'm just, I've just done a bit of a deal for him on the phone because he's a frequent customer. So the system proposes what the rate should be, 95, but I've actually changed it to 85. And then I'll just simply save the reservation. And that's it. That's how easy it is to actually add a reservation. So that system, that reservation is now dropped into the system. Now, of course, you can be more sophisticated. You can add more details, such as their address. This system has a PCI compliant vault system with it that will store credit card details for you. Um, that's starting to become a demand by the banks and the authorities, etc., that you store PCI compliant information in, in the correct manner. It also has full control over the data to assist you with your GDPR regulations. Uh, but you can, in fact, be more sophisticated. For example, you could add uh, a reservation, including credit card details and email address. And at the end of the process, you can email the confirmation direct to the customers. There's a lot of other features in here that we won't be able to go into in this video. But for example, you can use group colors to identify reservations that are part of a group. You can create provisional reservations that have a specific time uh, set to them, at which point, if they're not confirmed, they're automatically released from the system. Probably the next most important thing for properties is the management of the rates. So rates can be managed in uh, a very simple manner. You can uh, simply edit the rates by changing the rates here one day at a time, or you can do bulk updates but it's very, very simple to manage rates. Likewise, with restrictions such as, for example, minimum stays, you can change the minimum stay simply by uh, entering the relative relevant figures in the fields there. Uh, there is, of course, a bulk updating tool, but we tend to find most people like to work on this particular screen to update the rates and availability. Crucially, there is something in here called derived rates, which means there's rate plans that are derived from a master rate. So in other words, when you change a rate, the other rate plans automatically change. Classic example may be the BNB. This system may have been set up so that the BNB rate is automatically 10 more per person than the room only rate, in which case the BNB rate automatically changes once the room only rate changes. So in this particular system, we'll have a look at all the direct derived rates. And yes, we can see room only, bed and breakfast, advanced purchase, three night stays. All these rates are controlled from the master rate. And if you don't want to see those derived rates, you can just simply hide them there. Now, this system, because, because we are a company that started off building web-based product products, has a good web-based booking engine. Often you find that the booking engine for many of the larger PMS suppliers is an afterthought because they focus on very heavy database-driven um, uh, uh, systems. But we've actually come from the web world and we spent a lot of time building booking engines. So 
our booking engines automatically have features in such as special offers. You can create special offers that are emphasized during the booking process or on the website. You can have gift vouchers very popular at the Christmas period, etc. There's a lot of different features that are available in, in the booking engine. Uh, in addition to uh, the booking engine, of course, we have the channel manager. And again, the channel manager has been created to be very simple. But in actual fact, we manage most of the connection process and the mapping on behalf of the customer. Uh, we find that the mapping process is quite complicated, particularly for our customers. So we do the mapping for them. But with the experience that we've had of 11 years in the industry of channel managers, uh, we've built a lot into the system to make this process go easier and in particular to trap errors. So there's a lot of alerts in here that will inform us, for example, if an extra room type has been set up on an OTA, online travel agent, such as Expedia. So that alert tells us that that new room type needs to be rebooked. The websites that come with the uh, guest diary, I mean, this is where we started our life. So the websites tend to be uh, uh, fully um, mobile friendly and uh, can display properly on any type of the device. Uh, there is a content management system with these systems, with these websites that enable you to control the content, but the display on a website and they are also multilingual. So that's the websites. Finally, if we go back to the diary, it does have a financial mo model module available that allows you to create your VAT reports, your management reports, uh, your shift balance reports, etc. So if we look here, we can see a typical management report showing RevPAR, uh, average daily rate, etc., average length of stay, and all your sales. And then our cash flow report is really the, the report that's used by properties to do to look at a shift balance, what's been taken in a particular period in terms of cash, credit card, vouchers, write-offs, refunds, etc and also gives you the individual details of each one of those reservations. So that is the AccuBook guest diary. It is quite difficult to explain all the features in, in a short diary, in a short video, um, but uh, we, we would be happy to tell you more if you contact us. Thank you very much.